Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Binding the Isaac. Now in this case I think... What do I do? Yes, we unlocked the Polaroid last time I believe, or maybe it's this time I'm gonna do it, I'm not quite sure actually, wait, wait just a moment, let me go on and check, right quick, we did not unlock it yet, so one last time I'm going to defeat Isaac and then we will finally unlock the picture of his old family that, that we've been looking for for so long all this time and this is actually a pretty fantastic um, pickup to 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 get in the first place you will get it after you kill mom's heart with Samson so it's not a small task that's for true but it's definitely not that difficult either basically makes it so that there is a 50% chance like all the other penny related trinkets to get a um, heart this time every time you pick up a pink tr a penny sorry so this makes it s so that blood banks are very much more liable to actually yield something that you would like them to yield since there's such a big chance of you just uh, getting infinite supply of it that's pretty fantastic like this n okay so then you know just had to teach me a lesson and not do it the exact fucking time I asked her to. So we'll just wait for it the next time it wants to give out. So, yeah, I apologize a bit. Um, I'm not really in the best of shapes and because um, the pollen allergy is upon me like moss to a flame. It's really just quite awful right now. Um, oh, and this is not the boss to be fighting right now. Just obliterated my chance of getting a deal with anything. Oh, yeah, exactly. And just the, the amount of, of time in general I have not been playing this really makes it so that I always have to teach myself a bit of the old methods of the Binding of Isaac every single time I start of the game. I'm sorry for that, but I guess it's a collective learning process in it, unless you sh should probably have learned a bit more about it than I have at this point. Even though I know about a lot about this game, but I don't, yeah, okay. One point, you just kind of forget the methods for playing it, you know what I'm saying? This is a very, very bad first boss to be playing, I don't know if I mentioned that. To be fighting, I mean, not to be playing as, you know. Fantastic. Let's just go at it again. I'm probably not gonna get the same trinket or the same tinted rock or the same opportunities. But I digress. I digress is also a thing that I have that has been on my mind lately. It is a saying that really that I've picked up a lot. And uh, spoke of too too many times. And these flies should not be hovering of the rocks like complete doofuses this is probably worth it yes totes totes worth it there was nothing that was not worth it in that pile of treasures that's for true ah right so yesterday um the pollen was completely crazy and i, I mean Compared to the statistics, the uh, number of pollen organisms, I don't know how exactly you calculate or measure that, but it was up at 163 in my vicinity. And let's just say that when it first began, it was only at 5, so it was pretty crazy. Luckily, today it has rained, so that has automatically created a much better surface for me to survive in, which is quite good. Right, that's great. Taking no damage ever is kind of great. This, um, I'll use it in the boss, but I don't think it's better than the Yamaha, to be quite honest. I do not think that, yeah, this is a pretty good place to use it, I would say. No, it also damages them, oh, for quite a lot, actually, because, um, oh, yeah. Because 
it damages every single organism and they are multiple section enemies so it deals quite a lot of damage yeah this particular version of the enemy is not really the best to fight since it leaves poops poop all over the place and still continue and also shoots projectiles it's just this version of Larry Jr. is not that easy to dodge no matter what they tell you no matter what right don't think there was anything to do besides picking up this and taking back the hood in other words taking back this oh, and also um yeah I'm a, I'm a I'm a reckless motherfucker and if it doesn't uh, pay out exactly the way I want it to that's that's fine that's that's fine really let's 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 not dwell on that too much and just move on with our lives Curse of the Lost Leaders name Curse of the Labyrinth, which was bread impossible. So stop speaking such nonsense in your viewers' vicinities. Oh well, the, the viewers you have now in the last episode, there hasn't been a single view yet, but that is totally fine by me. <laughs> it's, it's cool. If you guys have better things to do than watch me play this silly ass game for like one hour straight almost every single time I do it, I mean that's it's good for you really I would actually suggest that you didn't watch these episodes that much um that sounds like I'm kind of trying to lose my subscribers and shit which was not really my intention it was just you know a matter of speech I'm not quite sure if um, the Hall of Babylon is in fact special I do not know that. I just assumed that it wasn't and picked it up. Because not many of those religious artifacts uh, related items are special. That when it actually comes to it. When I say religious artifacts, I mean like Brimstone, which is the reversed uh, Jew key. No, but wait, that makes it sound completely terrible. Um, I don't know what it's called, alright? I just spewed out something random, hoping that it was... Oh yeah, I have soul hearts. That's great. So, uh, more chance of... These dudes are... You know, just... Look at their spread when they jump sometimes. It's quite insane. Don't know what that deal is, man. Getting real tired of it. So, Liberty Cab is usually not a um, shroom that you should be eating. But I did... Oh, that was totes great. But in this case, in the Binding of Isaac territory, it's quite good, actually. I think that I just realized Curse of the Lost makes it so that it's harder to... Basically, it makes the floor bigger, is what I was trying to come forth with, but ultimately failed because of my la ineptitude in the English language. Of sorts. Right, oh, 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 right. Tricky dodging. Um, The big mushroom was not making it that easy for me right there. I desperately hope that the secret room would be here, and it might be. It's not. So, might be on the other side too, might not. Fish head, I think Liberty Cab is better. Fish head just does it so that every time you take damage, you spawn three flies. I will definitely gamble on that dude at a later point in life. Um, being Maggie and fighting against these fellas is not the best thing you can see so ultimately goddamn slow now I don't think that speed is a winning factor by a long shot in this game is actually quite the opposite it's not that great and I got just what I needed and wanted I don't know if you activate um, the Liberty Caps big mushroom and you actually get one more heart to, to spend on and this deals with the devil I don't think so at least and I think I'm actually gonna take both of these um, Gubby's tail is just good in general I would say also with this many keys and yeah technology one technology I like I like the item I, I generally do appreciate the item because um, there are a lot of cool synergies you can do with it and it just pierces through everything it's just nice in general that's that is my philosophy and I stick by it and that was also neat that was one of the best outcomes that could have occurred to me right there. 
I'm just gonna blow this fella up. Cool. Not gonna go to the boss trap room, that'd be too much of a hassle. Um, really no matter what it contains. And some... Some, uh, dude may be messaging me, I think it is none other than Virtle himself. Um... But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna focus my efforts in this game instead. We can actually even see, um, the eye that you're... F oh, right, okay. This leaves me with no chance of an arcade next floor, but it was worth it. I'd say. I'd, I'd say it was... Okay, now we know where the secret room is due to, uh, Liberty Cap being a... Gods, no, that was not Liberty Cap. Sorry, that was the map. That's actually a good thing about the map. You can actually see where secret rooms are from now on in your life. So let's go ahead and pop it. Yes. Give me the good stuff. Yep. That's actually just what I needed. So now I have a chance to get an arcade on the next floor. Fantastic, everybody. Okay, so in the sense that Liberty Cap has the potential to slow me down that's really not that great but I think for the most part it's worth it um is that really doing anything for me right now that's interesting oh well let's just go on are you guys hyped for um no not curse of labyrinth that's nothing to be hyped for oh 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 jeez no 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 oh oh okay okay that was not my intention right there, but holy shit, my fire rate is huge. But that coin was indeed my intention. I think I'm just gonna kill him the regular way, instead of cheesing the hell out of it. Are you guys ready? Um, ready. My body is ready. I know. Are you guys ready for the new Super Smash Bros? I know this sounds like in a campaign ad or something, but it's not supposed to be. I'm just casually asking if you might be ready for revolutionary games I mean I don't know but it seems kind of great it seems a lot like I've just watched um, the E3 live stream for a bunch of time it seems a lot like the other Super Smash Bros brawl in in terms of graph graphical um, things and also just um, the gameplay in general of course, there are the added sta stages and the characters and the new combos and stuff like that, but there's just a lot of similarity to the old game in this sense. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this, basically. I, uh... Is very sorry about these, uh, humming noises in the background. Maybe we should actually get ready for recording instead of just, you know, being an amateur like I am right now. Um, oh, right. I have the, uh, with Liberty Cap, it also gives you the chance of spawning uh, the Commerce effect on a room, which is ultimately perfect when I already have the map, so now I could see that the boss room is in this direction. Um, but yeah, what I was what I was meaning to say is it looks a lot like it. I, I didn't watch every single part of the broadcast, but I could see that um, they made new things to the subspace emissary or whatever. They actually was going to call it this time around. Oh, okay, I just wall waltzed right into that. This is not the perfect floor by any means. And I... Yeah, I didn't take a damage. That was just me uh, spawning the big effect. Oh, come on. Ugh, I'm not really feeling that comfortable without a soul heart, but I guess I'll see how it goes. Okay, this is... This is, this is cool. This is cool. This is a... Uh, this is why I love technology. Ugh, it's basically would be my point if I didn't take any dumb damage. Right, there are too many bomb flies around for my liking. I would say actually pretty close to dying, which is which is not uh not the situation you would want to be in right now, but the added I mean the added speed is a uh a godsend of sorts. Yeah. That was how it went down. Not the best, not the worst. I think this is fine. I don't think that makes a difference. Judgment is very fine indeed. Right, okay. Ugh, this is not the situation to be in when you're small and down on your luck. But I digress. 
Hmm. I'm a master of uh, just going off a tangent and then going right back into the game and actually not following out of it, am I not? Because I feel like I've been doing that a lot these past few episodes and it's just something I guess I tend to do in general. Um, the fucking... Yeah, I was talking about Super Smash Bros. games and then I got caught on not getting bombed by the bomb flies and shit like that. So then I decided, oh, let me finish on the on the true game round here just for once and uh, and not do silly stuff like this. Actually, I do not know when you are fighting on an Excel floor if your deal with devil chance decreases on both the boss floors or just the second one where you actually have the chance of spawning one. I think it is on both of them, which means that yeah, it's it's pretty awful in general, basically. So fuck everything nice and pretty about this. And yeah, it's, it's so far up, you can't even see the rest of it. You can't even see the boss room skull, man. That's... That's doofus. I had more keys than bombs, so I thought. Might as well. But now I'm thinking... Nope. Might as well not. Like, I really do not give two shits if this is... I think I'm not gonna speak for the rest of this episode, because it has ultimately spoken for itself. It has ultimately spoken for its fucking self. Um, let's just move on, pretend like God is real, and nothing bad has occurred to me lately. Oh yeah, that- oh. What am I even on about? I should have- I should wait waited right there, that's for true. This is cool, I guess. There's a mini boss right here. Um okay, J sweet Jeremiah Jesus, this is not the mini boss I was hopping for. I was hopping for, I was not exactly hopping for it. It, it oh, it deals one full heart of damage, that's that is very, very scary indeed. At least I got the added protection in form of damage, but oh, this is not. Oh, you are. You is very annoying, young man, you see. You is very. I do not know how long his range is in, uh, in, in context with his uh, gooey flesh that he can spur out, but why is this guy not dead yet? That is my question. It's quite long, actually. Let me not pick up that because I think Liberty Cap will save. Save me. Um, a little bit better. This is awesome. This is very, very good. Just what I was looking for in a man. Yes. And I still get the added protection from Whore of Babylon. So that's great. That's a real bloody great day. Ugh. I can't even deal with it with this method. Oh. Fucking Christ, that should be illegalized. Doing stuff like that, Larry Jr. How dare ya? At least multi segment enemies gets a bit wrecked with this setup. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Nice. So I'm just gonna tear through. Yeah, I still need the other item room, which I can only see where it is when the tear effect activates. So that means not right now. No, I mean, I can still take dumb damage. That's, of course, also a thing that can happen. That is not anything to dismiss happening. Ever. Literally ever. Oh, wow. That, that's a gamble, but I'm willing to take it. And, um... Yeah, I... I, I you know, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's slightly better. It makes up for it. Um, for the bad things in life. Mars Pearl. Is it 10 percentage more chance of there being a soul heart? Whenever they see um, undefined heart of any sort. So I'll just take that, but essentially it's only 9% because of math, I guess. Because of math, yeah, that's... Let's, let's leave it at that. Call it a day. Right, that... I knew that was going to happen. I always mess that up in the end. This is a very good room for technology. This is why I appreciate technology in general. The new Apple iPads and stuff like that. That's, that's amazing for me. 
And this is also amazing, but it's a speed downgrade. I don't, I don't care right now, okay? I need the, the things in life, but I, now I desperately need speed. That's no joke. And now I'm desperately in danger of getting died. Yeah, of, of getting died, not just dying myself, but getting my die roll in order. Dang it. So that was, was what it was. I know I'm tempting fate right now. Getting myself close to getting killed and shit. But I just I'd like to see what this place has to offer me. I mean, what it still has to offer me. It has offered me enough, enough dead, death and damage. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't care, man. It shouldn't be this hard to play the Binding of Isaac. It really shouldn't. I'm gonna push my luck all through to the end. Please. Okay, okay. So my damage is doing all okay, I would say. I mean, could be much worse, really. At least I can finish off one of those maggot incubators in time. Not what you would call them, but for me, to me, they look like maggot incubators. Something like that. I don't know. That's not for me to indulge in. This is not a thing. Um, not a thing at all. Okay, so. Ugh. Yeah, I, I was. I was. I mean, that's like a positive pill, but in my case, it's just futile. Basically, it it does nothing for me. It does nothing right for me, in this case. Um, could you, could you, Spider Mc, McDiver right there? Could you just get killed? That would be most appreciated, mate. That's for true. This is great. I, I guess. I guess it's great. Okay. So, um, dancing with the devil is not a thing that I should be doing right now. I'm in no position for those silly games. This, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do this. Nothing you can say that is. Yeah. They see. They see that it pays off to be greedy. Greed is good. Gordon Gecko taught me that, and. and Gordon from Gecko and Fallout 2 told, told me that also. Just before. Now, this is just what I. <laughs> oh god, that's silly. This is what I almost needed. I don't know why he doesn't spread his rings, but he's just... Oh, she is... I'm sorry. She is just... A figure of wings right now. I know I should have, you know, gotten the hearts, but... Essentially, I didn't give a shit. So, where do I leave my judgment behind, you might ask? Well, I was hoping... To get, uh, some deals with shit. Oh, and this is also a, um... Next to the floor. Freaking fantastic. That is when you know that this game does not approve of you anymore. Quite frankly, game, I do not approve of your methods either. So, get out of this face before I get into your face. You know what I'm handing at right there, I? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing that happened. At least, um, the flying was very huge because it sort of does up for the speed that I, I missed in general with all the items I picked up. Not what else I'm, I was hoping for as loot from this place, but whatever. If I get you know it's never it's never too late to get a greed equals money. Or money money equals power, sorry, not not greed equals money, because that's that's what it does in the first place. That's like Im the implicit conditions of greed. So whatever. I says, I do not like these sleepers one bit. Too much health and too much time on their hands for my liking. So rooms like this should just get on up and get fucked in the bum. Yeah, and these, mm, yeah, and these, yeah. Ugh. Sorry for all these moaning noises, but I'm not feeling that content about this run thus far. I would personally say 
Not that it matters to me, because I'm gonna flip it turn ways any day now. Just you wait. Like this, this is ultimately the very definition of flipping it turn ways, like those. I just thought it was a tinted rock, but it wasn't. It was a tinted edge master. Is, isn't that what they're calling Legend of Zelda, I think, at least? Alright, okay, it's it's ultimately it's Gobby's ta uh, Gobby tail being at work right here with all these chests. I should realize that ages ago. But I'm not a realization man, that's for true. They've never called me. <laughs> yep. Um, what do I get from uh, pulling my trust in uh, in pills? What do I get with that? Out of that? This is why I love Kane, I can't stress it enough. This is why I adore Kane. This is why... What is all this madness? I have been exposed to, okay. Um... I don't... Man, I... I don't, right? Let's... Let's leave it at that and call it a day. And I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna roll with this, um, even though Yum's heart might be more recognizable in my dare position, or dire position, I should say. But I'm not, I'm not dealing with those trifles. No, no, no. This is enough. I'm not a weakling like those Morley thought I was back in high school. No, 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 that's not me. And, okay. This is a big turnaround, and this actually <laughs> makes... That's very ironic, isn't it? But this makes me go back here and get motherfucking greatness. I Yeah, there, there you see. I uh, still can use this, but there have it. There, I just uh, turn the run around, turn everything, you know, just uh, in my favor. That's what I'm trying to get at right here. Everything is gonna be just fine now. Thing is gonna be dandy. Nothing can stop my streak right now. Nothing at all. Is this better? I. Yep. I'm sorry, Moss Bell, but you have actually not given me a single goddamn thing yet, so I'm just gonna. Just gonna go with this fella. Yep, definitely, definitely. This is fucking amazing, in it? Really. Just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um. Yeah, holy, ki holy crap, now I can actually feel my damage. Feel it in my, in my grasp, in my hands. I can feel it from the inside. Like Nine Inch Nails feels you from the inside. With his, um... With his words, that that was a quick loadout, and uh, that makes it worthwhile to use um, this item on rooms like these. Now I can actually finish these guys off pretty fast. That was a big turnaround for everyone. Oh, wow, you are just tempting me right now, game. You are really on a roll. Like, what, what, what do I use in this situation? What do I pick? The curved horn is such a good trinket, but so is the cancer. Anyway, if I don't get, like, mom's purse, I have no way to even keep them in the first place. So, let me not get ahead of myself here. What about this corner? Does it yield the fruits of love and labor? Exotic fruits? I was playing this exciting board game lately, which is called Dixit. Basically, it's very, um modernistic and expressionistic in a, in a sense well it's very related to art and telling stories because you usually play up to six people at least that's what the um the point system tells and then okay rusted key is actually completely worthless and then you have to take s at least well at, at or as you say at most six different boards that each represents their own kind of drawing and then you have to tell a story or a sentence, actually just a sentence out of that particular drawing that you acquired. Um, 
and then the others and then in the end um everybody picks a card of their own that actually represents the exact uh, definition of the card that he mentioned or the person mentioned in the first place and then you put them all down face down and then reveal them and then you have to guess which of them was the original card which tends to be very difficult at times very very difficult because um, if you you know speak out philosophical dubiousness like uh, a dream or something beautiful from the inside it, it can mean a lot of metaphorical crap and that's indeed what they sometimes go for so I, I was just thinking that it oh, of course of course greed you have to show up and and make my life a living a living hell so I'm gonna do the same for yours kid this is not a thing I'm proud of but what a hey, what the hell I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway Hmm, gambling. Oh, how I've missed you, gambling. I've not gotten a single arcade at any point ever. And that really surprises me a lot. Since I've been having over five coins for almost the entire game, actually. But I digress, this has not been a good run so lately. So far, so good, so lately, I should say. Oh well. Whatever. Not even sure I would uh, go to the rest of the corner rooms, to be quite frankly. Ugh. Oh man. This is the very essence of boredom. If you had to look up boredom in the finest dictionary of all times, this would, this would be it. I mean, the Binding of Isaac gambling would be the top first thing because holy damn this is tedious it it's maybe as the famous mr. Bisnap states it's it's almost always worth it but it's just tedious and nobody likes it except for the inventors of gambling which probably make huge profits out of it that's great actually that's very good might give me a slight chance of getting something out of it but of course I have not been getting a good tarot card yet that could supplement it. So whatever I says. Full of agony and spite. I'm just gonna finish off this. Yeah, you guys are gonna get real wrecked now. Let me tell you. Okay, no, please do not. Okay, yes, I was gonna get wrecked myself. But that was not the case. No, no, no. Alright, I think... I don't know why I'm philosophizing over this, or... Not philosophizing, thinking about this. There's a huge difference, because this is not related into the terms of philosophy. This is just thinking practically. What does the battery do? It... I think it gives one tick of charge every 15 seconds you're in a fighting room. And this is... N and... Yeah, that's not what I call philosophizing. That's just real thinking. Quite good about it. Thinking good about it. What? What? What am I even on about? If I okay, I'm, there's one thing I'm missing, and that's spectral tears right now. I could do me some spectral tears right now. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Not even gonna bother with um. With, with that, essentially. That was the first tint rock ever, I think. And that's very nice. Makes it so that I, that I don't even need um the other thing. Uh, the Fool is great, so now I have just what I needed, actually. Am I gonna cheese it? Oh, of course I'm gonna cheese it. Gonna cheese it to the end of the world, unless if I get these enemies. Which are not what I've been looking for. God. Fucking damn it. That is slightly annoying, but this on the other hand is not annoying. I just realized I had no, um, whatchamacallem, no thingies, ever. 
No orbitals, that's the name. Orbitals. Remember that name, because you're gonna need it, son. There was no deal with anything, but I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna haul my ass all the way back to the place where that matters. I'm just gonna fight Chop right here, just just for, a, just for a while. See what I can get out of that, eh? That's always fun. Always fun. Let me tell you a story of why that is always fun. And let me stop myself right now, because that's never fun. Never is it fun to fight against Chubby. Or is he called Chubby? Because if I just call him Chubby, that's not very nice to do. That's actually considered bullying, so I'm sorry. Oh man, didn't mean to make you... To make you cry like that. That was not my intention. Now my fire rate is just as good as it was before. And I didn't get a single goddamn thing. So fuck everything. Right in a special place. Right in a special place. You, my friend, should be castrated for your dumb efforts. And that's actually what I was just doing right there. Castrating you. A whole bunch. That's neat, I guess. It makes me want to fight Death. And preferably not Conquest, because he is a doof. So, does it work in these rooms? It actually does. I was kind of worried it didn't. Ah, oh, but it didn't give, really give me anything. So, you know. What, what ifs, I guess, is a real way to phrase it. What fucking ifs. That's good. Can always return to this and do some funky ass business if I want to. I still need the speed, so you know, at some point it could be worth it. That guy's fire rate, which was huge, is like the same fire rate as your own, because that's pretty crazy. Then if it is, and I mean real crazy, that's good. No casualties thus far. Still think the curved horn is slightly um better. Because it's always objectively good. Always. Literally always. While um, a spade has the potentiality of being good, it just can't guarantee itself like the curved horn can. So remember kids to buy your curved horn today only $5.99 and on retail in the Binding of Isaac stores. Keep it real, keep it fresh and don't fucking kill little babies with your tears because that's that's pretty effed up if you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna yeah make him do that that'll show him who's boss now if things are looking too dire i might actually um consider going to satan because wait did i f did i finish off satan with maggie i actually think i did so that's not an opportunity because there's actually quite a load of characters I need to finish off Satan with but he is not one of them I mean she so sorry she is not one of them that was very important um misconception right there that Maggie is a she or the Maggie is he no that is not true I am contradicting myself right now and speaking rubber sentences that's for true. I should have just bombed my way out of the secret room and into the other rooms. But I just didn't want to waste precious bombs. And that was a stupid move. And a stupid movie for that case. Temperance is something I can abuse at some point. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have a look-see about that. Hopefully. Hopefully I can abuse it to its fullest degree. Why do you why do you ask I did that just now? Oh, I have no idea. I wanted to have some fun in life. Is that too much to ask for now, is it? Well I certainly hope not, Mr. Fucking Smarty gonna tell me what to do in life, eh? Certainly don't hope that's too much for you to handle. Mr. Yeah. That's why I blow up these things, sonny boy. Oh, it's it's death. Luckily, it's death. I was getting sort of worried right there. 
And this is Hourglass almost does nothing against me. I mean, literally, what what are its effects anyway? It's just so bummed down. I, I can't even tell what it actually does. I mean, it's supposed to be good, right? But it just ain't. It just ain't good. I'm, so, I'm sorry for death, because I, I think he, he feels that his items are pretty great. The knockback makes this boss so much easier than uh, having knockback, is what I was trying to say. If I actually can hit the damn thing, and I got what I needed. Which is this. Um... Yep. I is uh, very sorry, but that is some shit I definitely need in my life right right up right about now um the functional process I'm gonna go right on back to the other room maybe travel back and forth a few times I know this is gonna be a long episode like all the other ones have been but frankly I don't give a damn let me just uh, do it like this and like this too um, yeah, and then I can uh, triple him up like that, and see if I... Wait. Oh, oh, right, okay, so I cannot, um, I cannot do it like that, because then I will spend my precious spirit hearts on stupid stuff like that, but maybe only half of them? I don't know, I don't know exactly how the mechanics work in that case. It's kind of dubious, to be honest. Yes! Just what I bloody needed. What about you, little fella? Okay, so I can still pull off two of them at once. Um, I didn't right there. How much do I pay? Like, I have no idea what the frick's going on. I just spend half a spirit heart and then... Just pops right back on when I do it again. I don't. I don't know. But I don't think I'm gonna do it a again. That's what I'm trying to get at right here. I think I'm in, a, I'm in, a, in an okay position. Not great. Um, but not terrible either. I do know the tarot cards could have the potentiality of saving me in my current situation, but I frankly I do not give a damn. Do I give a damn about being saved? No, of course I don't. That is for, for other people to... To think about, to ponder upon. Definitely not me, I won't, I'm just going to spike meat babies all over the place. Oh, I promised myself not to... Not to say the word meat baby again, because it's... It's way too overused, let me tell you that. And that eye blob or whatever the hell they call him, he's he's a rare ass drop. He's like he's a celebrity around here, so rare that he is. And that's no joke. That sounded like Sonic the Hedgehog uh, kind of uh, pronunciation, compared or combined with something that was not relevant at all. This is a thing I'm not gonna pick up under any circumstances whatsoever. Because if I have any chance to deal any smarty stuff with um, re-rolling, if I by any chance get the d6 at some point, if I meet Greed another time, I st still have a chance to re-roll his shit. So just in that, you know, just under those circumstances that that's gonna happen. Oh, that is a nice one to be fighting right there, I... And this is only a normal, I mean, fight room. What what the hell is with all this? Really? That's kind of effed up, I would say. I don't even remember what I picked up. I was kind of doofing off right there. But I think it was a good thing. I believe it was worth it. Worth it to pick up. Essentially. Oh, whatever. Um, do I go through here? Of course I go through here, because I'm a manic bastard. And was it worth it? No, of course it wasn't bleeding worth it. I should have picked up the Necronomicon when I had the chance, so it wouldn't appear again. But I was too stupid to register, to actually 
actually register that, I should say. Oh well. What ifs? Still hoping for some tinted rockies to be around. Increasing the blast radius? Nothing. Nothing came out of those few times. Whatever I say to myself, knowing that it is not whatever. It is never whatever enough to be neglected. Remember that, kiddos, or you will be infected by the dangers of society that will kill you and tear your heart apart. Keep your heart head on and prepare for the worst. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it sounded pretty good while I was on the street, didn't it? You can actually, you know, if, if you would um summon a bit more... A bit more tinted rocks for me, not not those guys, but if you would, yeah, do that a bit more, I would be happy as a camper, but I think I'm also just gonna kill your ass too, that's fine. Fine by me. This is a real tears upgrade, oh, that's masterful. Really just amazing. What about this? This is useless in a sense. Not always, it's not always useful, useless. Especially when you are under effects by uh, the cane or the number one, then it is pretty damn great. I'm just gonna. Why did I do that in the first place? That's that's kind of what it is, what it was supposed to do for me. That that is what it ultimately did. I don't actually know why I went in the other rooms at first. I don't think there's any chance for the boss to be there, so. You know, stop spending your time in there. Awesome. Now I'm finally beginning to catch up on my lack of speed. And now things are very comfortable. Again. Or at last. I mean at last. Things are looking up meal house. That's for true. This is... Can I even... Does it even get any faster than that? I maybe shouldn't have picked it up since it was special. But I digress. I digress a lot lately. Yeah, I've been saying I digress. I don't know how many freaking times. There was like... I think it was three months ago where I didn't even know what it meant. And now I finally have learned the true importance of I digress. Like no man ever has. Ever has. Ever has. Uh, I don't know what that means. But that's definitely not something that I approve of. Under any circumstances whatsoever. Okay. I'm just gonna spawn your little thingies and I'm gonna blow them to smithereens with all my bombs. I'm actually, my damage is doing pretty great. Um, not thinking I would ever say that. But that is just the situation I'm in right now. Don't know why I would need that key. Oh, Jesus. You know, when that happens, it's like Pestilence, um, spassing out completely. I don't know what... I don't know what's going on with him, but... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths and a total, utter non-belief in yourself will get you carried. I don't have a single orbital. I don't have a goddamn single orbital. How am I ever going to not get killed? On a simple fucking two greed boss fight. How was I so bad? I don't know. I don't care. I wouldn't even tell you if I did know. Watch out next time when I play the Binding of Isaac and maybe not fail miserably. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>